Testing, one, two, three. Check, check, one, two, three. afternoon happy friday i'm kill the vid your host for the nine to five outlaw does gaming youtube and twitch channel and today we are concluding this edition of let's play classic featuring mafia 2 classic edition this is it the home stretch i'm gonna spend the, the remaining four hours of this stream finishing up the storyline of vito scaletta in the previous stream to recap I had to end this stream early because the song was playing and then of course the game had locked up and I had to end and do what I had to do. Plus I was afraid I was going to get a copyright strike against my channel. Even though I've turned down the music on both the music and the radio and the options audio settings. So hopefully I don't run into any of that again. But as far as the storyline goes, in the previous stream, Vito and his partner, Joe, took out Alberto Clemente with a, when we had tried to blow up uh, the hotel suite that he was in, but he was hiding in the bathroom. And then I had to help my sister Vito's sister with her husband who beats and cheats on her. So I had to straighten them out. And that's unfortunately is when the song Rock Around the, Cl Rock Around the Clock by Bill Haley and the comments kept looping. And I had to end the stream. So without any further ado, grab a snack, grab a drink, grab what you need. It's time for Let's Play Classic featuring Mafia 2 Classic Edition. Finale. On the 9 to 5 Outlaw Does Gaming YouTube and Twitch channel. Here we go. Watch the place! Do it! No! Born! <laughs> you dago cunt! Born! <laughs> oh, look. They're burning down the house. I got to get out of here. And they're gonna get away. The Irish mob is burning down my home. And I'm <coughs> Got me. My house. Fuck. And my money's gone too. <laughs> That's why Vito should have invested in a safe. Instead of putting it in the mattress. So avoid the tech <coughs> <man. coughs> Down my freaking house. And 
another thing too is that since I turned off the radio, you'll get a real-time news report. In this case, of my house burning down. Similar to that of Grand Theft Auto 4 and Grand Theft Auto 5. said, what a way to start the episode. Cars are open. They sure did me dirty. Come on, Joe, don't tell me you're not home. Let's go. You better not be passed out. Come on! All your horses. I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh, you barbecuing in your underwears? Yeah. Can I come in? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course. I'll fix you a drink. Look at the pad. 
What the fuck? Nice, ain't it? What the hell happened to this place? I spruced the giant up a little. What do you think? Looks like a Barbie yeah, dream it's really, house. Uh, different. Yeah, huh? I decorated it myself. So what the hell happened? Here, take this. Those crazy fucking mix. What about them? What'd they do? They tried to fucking kill me. What? And they burned my fucking house down. Son of a bitch. So what are you gonna do? You wanna go deal with the mix right now? Damn right I do. All right, relax. Have a drink. Let me make a few phone calls. And, uh, take a look at my closet. Unless you wanna go on a rampage in your skivvies. Thanks. Thought you'd never ask. <laughs> Hey, it's Joe. Yeah, I know, I know, but I need a, a favor. fucking clown. Watch your mix try to kill a good friend. Did he get any worse? Well, the bed's not too bad. I want to know who they are and where they're operating now. Still one sleep in it. Hey, what? Wow, kitchen's big too. Looks like a diner. Mickey Desmond. Oh, oh, he is. Well, that explains it. Where is he now? I know the place. All right, thanks. Get a drink after what happened. Hey, you finally got some style. I'm gonna want that shirt back, by the way. They don't make treads like those no more. Yeah, there's a reason for that, you know? Where are we going? The Hill of Tara, the Mick joint in Kingston. Come on, I'll tell you the rest in the car. Secondary incidental animations. T 2K check spare, no expense. Come on, get in. So you heard anything about the Mix lately? Nah, nothing. Why? The Mix got themselves a new boss. Name's Mickey Desmond. There's a few other guys who want to take his spot, so he's trying to show everybody that he means business. What the hell does that have to do with me? Brian O'Neill. He was Desmond's cousin. Ah, I should've known. My money's on him being down at that shithole joint right now, laughing it up with the rest of those fucking yo-yos. So let's get over there and deal with him. That's the plan. Sounds like there ain't many of them left, so I guess we should just storm the place, surprise the shit out of it. I like this plan. Assholes burnt my fucking house down. Relax, we'll be there in a minute. <laughs> shit, you're gonna need a piece. I almost forgot. Yeah, if you got one, that'd be good. If not, I'll just beat them to death with my bare hands. It makes no difference to me. Should be one in here somewhere. Ah, here it is. Here you go. Thanks. What the fuck are you doing? Jeez, relax, will you? <clears throat> what the fuck are you doing? Hey, I know how to drive, all right? Kluski and Sons only offers the very best, be it guns or ammo. So, get ready. so if 
for the cup to pass. Instant cash. How about that? We got a homicide here. Suspect is off. Roger that. Down, piglet. Suspect is about six feet tall. Average size. Ten floor. Officer down! Officer down! Shoot this asshole! Copy that. A little cash in my slide. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Hit every fucking car. Version to red lights? No, I'm gonna hurt Joe. I think you'll look Tara. Ready, Vito? Come on, let's go get these fucks. I told you, I chased him, but I lost him. The coward ran away, but I'll find him, and when I do... You were the one who ran away, asshole. Oh, fuck. You, you've got some balls. Yes, I do. You're about to... Yeah! You're ah! fucking dead! Oh! Back me up, Pino. You should fight my sister. Sorry, Keith. Let's go, Vito! Barkeep. Flank him!
Another one bites the dust. Come on, think of something. Hurry up here. Can't go without those guys on my tail. I'm gonna get you sooner or later. Come out of your hole, you fucking rat! This frame rate is going slower than usual. Takes Copy care that. of that, huh? Yeah, but it don't give me my house back. Don't worry. Business is looking good. You'll have to cash for a new one real soon. Yeah, I sure as hell hope so. All right. Let's go back home. So it's okay if I crash on your couch, right? I can do one better than that. Here, take these keys. They're from Marty's apartment. I'm trying to get rid of it right now for his mother. So, uh, you might as well use it while I do. Thanks. I guess. Don't thank me, buddy. You're too old to be sleeping on my couch. Plus, I just bought the thing. I don't want you lousing it up. Marty's apartment's over in Oyster Bay. So you feel better now? Not really. What we did back there doesn't even start to make up for it. Hey, all that stuff that got pointed up is just things, Vito. Just things? Come on, come on. Hey, those are my things, Joe. What do you think I do to shit we do anyway? It's to buy things. 
know, suits, cars, broads, houses. Now I'm back to scratch. And all my damn cash was in that house, too. I promised myself I'd never be poor again. I'd do a fucking wharf rat with no man. Hey, hey, I understand. Don't worry, we'll think of something. You'll be back on your feet in no time. Glass is always fucking half full with you, isn't it? McCluskey and Sons only offers the very best, be it guns or ammo. <laughs> Gun ain't much without some ammo. Ain't that the truth? so much. Here they come. Out the way, Joe. Here they come. We got a homicide here. Suspect is off. Ten four. Back me up, Vito. You're fucking dead. You shoot like my sister. Officer down! Officer down! Shoot this asshole! Roger that. You shoot like my sister. Back me up, Vito. What are you scared, asshole? This is extreme caution. Use of automatic weapons is authorized. Oh, yeah. Officer down! Officer down! Shoot this asshole! Copy that. Grease gun ready for you. All units, code green, back to the station.
Version to red lights. No cops. Are you trying to hit every fucking car? Sergeant Damato speaking. I need to calm down the situation. Payment as usual. All right, all right, you got it. Have somebody drop the cash off later. So, bah, me no order pizza. Oh, my fault. I'm sorry. Most recipe you're gonna like. <laughs> Here you are, sir. Swear the price of euros go up. See you around, I guess. See you, buddy. Sorry about tonight. Okay, Marta 
noises at distance. over here. You know, I'm going to have to give you a fine for this. Thank you, officer. Do yourself a favor, pal, and straighten up. You looking for something special?
serious body work. Fucking dump. God, I wish I had the cash for a hotel. <laughs> yeah, and he didn't keep any food either. Fuck, this is creepy. Chapter 12, Sea Gift. Marty's apartment, September 22nd, 1951. My house burned to the ground, along with almost every penny I had. There was even some trouble with the cops, but Eddie took care of that. And since I didn't have any insurance, I had to live in this shithole of an apartment till I could get back on my feet. At least I managed to save Leo. He disappeared without a trace. I doubt Frank Vinci even knew where he went. And even though Henry failed to deliver on the contract, Eddie still brought him in when he heard Leo had skipped town. Me and Joe had a new partner. See you there. Be right back.
My house burned to the ground, along with almost every penny I had. There was even some trouble with the cops, but Eddie took care of that. And since I didn't have any insurance, I had to live in this shithole of an apartment till I could get back on my feet. At least I managed to save Leo. He disappeared without a trace. I doubt Frank Vinci even knew where he went. And even though Henry failed to deliver on the contract, Eddie still brought him in when he heard Leo had skipped town. Me and Joe had a new partner. See you there. Hey, here he comes. Hey! What's up? Hey, Vito. Take a seat. All right, listen. I've been doing some research into Carlos' business. So? So, the only reason he had Clemente killed was because he was selling dope, too. And he was stealing his customers. Now he just needs to get rid of one last obstacle. The one guy who could fuck things up and ruin his plan to become the main supplier for the whole city. Frank Vinci. Where'd you get all this? I talked to a few people I trust. Okay, so what does this have to do with us? Cause, if he can do it, why can't we? A kilo of heroin costs 2,500 bucks over in France. Then it's another thousand bucks to get it here. And? And we pick up 11 grand for just driving the stuff to the dealers. 
That's 7,500 bucks profit a mm. kilo. Yeah, but what about Falcone? Carlo won't find out. And even if he does, he'll just threaten us and demand the cut. All right, but if Carlo's the only big supplier in the city, where are you going to buy the stuff from? I'm way ahead of you. What do you two know about the Tongs? The Chinks? Some kind of organization for Chinese immigrants, right? That's what I said, the Chinks. Right, but it's also a front for their other operations. They run the Chinese quarter, and they keep to themselves. But some of them are interested in doing business with outsiders, and they need middlemen since most people are afraid to deal with them. And we're the middlemen. Yep. They'll give us 10 kilos to start. For how much? 35 grand. And we can sell it for... 110. <whistles> nice. Okay, well, where the hell are we gonna get our hands on 35 grand? I know a loan shark, the Yid over on Palisade. I think a loan is 35, we give him 45 back. Now that means our take is over 20 grand a piece. Not bad for just moving the shit from one place to another. But you know, who's gonna end up using this crap? What do you care? As long as it isn't an outlet. Of course, Vinci was right. <laughs> drugs are bad news, they kill people. Look, only idiots do drugs. Deadbeats and losers. If they want to kill themselves so badly, I'll gladly help them out. Especially the for voice of Frank Vinci is. I got buyers very in the candy. ghetto. They'll take care of the distribution. The voice so we don't need to worry about that. Are you guys in or not? I'm in. Come on, don't be stupid, Vito. 20 fucking grand in one afternoon. <sighs> when? Right now. If we don't take the offer, the towns will just find somebody else. Come on, Vito, it'll be a piece of cake. Let's go see Bruno then. Vito, how about you want us all down there? He's on Palisade Street. Okay, let's go. So we're gonna see some Jewish dude, Lone Shark. Said that we can score a drug deal. So who's this guy we're gonna see, Henry? His name's Bruno. He's one of the only guys in town who could do a loan this big. But if he doesn't give it to us, then what? Then the deal's off. But don't worry, I know this guy. He'll give us the money. There ain't nobody else we can get this kind of money from? There's three of the guys I know of. But if you want to ask Carlo or Frank Vinci for 35 grand, be my guest. Yeah, <laughs> no thanks. Who's the third guy? He ain't in business no more. Somebody blew up a room full of his guys and shot him point blank in the face with a Tommy gun. <laughs> oh, that guy. Come on, we said we wasn't going to talk about that. All right, so, Henry, what is this guy, rich or something? I think he gets his money from some of the bosses from out of town who sit on the commission. Yeah? Oh, shit. Yeah, which is why we can't stiff the guy. Besides, we got to keep this quiet. Can we trust him? Sure. Wise guy's been borrowing money from this guy forever. As long as we pay him back on time, we won't have a problem. Oh. Oh. Try to kill me! No. no? Should I have a chance? Okay, guess this is the place. Yeah, it looks like a G.I. Joe. Bruno the Year. Hi, fellas. We're here to see Bruno. Hiya, Henry. If you got guns on you, put them down there. I gotta search you. Hi, 
How you, Bruno? Hello, Henry. So, to what do I owe the pleasure of your company today? I need 35 grand in $20 bills. Oh, that's a lot of money, Henry. A lot of money. Tell me, why should I give that much to a small-time guy like you, huh? Convince me. I got a short thing. You'll have 45 by the end of the week. What kind of sure thing? Sorry, Bruno. That's a trade secret. Then 45 is not enough. I'd be more comfortable with 65. That's a bit steep, even for you. 50's all I can do. Henry, Henry, I have no guarantee I'll get my money back. And you have nowhere else to go. So? How about 60? Don't think of it as interest. It's more like my cut of the profits. 55. Final offer. Anything more than that, it's not worth my time. Deal. I'll give you $35,000 today, and you'll give me $55,000 by Friday. If you don't pay it back by then, the debt goes up by $10,000 every week. You'll get it by Friday. Okay. Isaac, prepare $35,000 in $20 bills. Now, you know I trust you, Henry, but if you screw me, remember these wise words from the Bible. And my, my wrath, wrath shall, shall wax, wax hot, hot, and I will, and I will kill, kill you with the sword, sword and, your and your wives, wives shall be widows, and, and your children, children fatherless. fatherless. Exodus, chapter 22, verse 24. <laughs> I'm impressed. You don't seem like the church-going type. Uh, but just remember, the money isn't mine. So even if you get rid of me, that doesn't get rid of your debt. So no funny business, okay, boys? Sure, Bruno. Thank you, Isaac. You want to count it, Henry? I'll take your word for it, and I'll bring it back on Friday along with your cut. I hope so. Good luck, boys. Nice job, Henry. Of course. I told you to give us the dough, didn't I? Hey. How come you know the Bible so good, Henry? You read it or something? Bruno always uses the same club. I go to church on Sunday, so I asked the priest one time. You go to church? <laughs> yeah, and I can understand why you don't. They use big words, there's no hookers, and the food's lousy. Yeah, that pretty much sums it up. Jeez, I ain't been there since... 45. What? That time your mother made you go to confession? Yeah, that time she smacked me for checking out no, some chick's cool. Ah, oh, God rest her soul. How about you, Joe? How long's it been? Easter. Ah, oh, that ain't too bad. 1941. I take that back then. You're going straight to hell. <laughs> what, you're just figuring that out now? Don't worry, I'll save seats for the both of you. You know, I heard about a old shot named Bruno once. Must be the same guy. Yeah, who'd you hear? Well, you know Mickey the Crab, right? What, the guy who cleans the bathrooms at Carlos joint? Yeah, the guy who's only got a finger and a thumb on his left hand. Guess how that happened? I heard he owed a lot of money to some yid from Southport. You get my drift? Oh, right. I get the picture. Haha, <laughs> don't worry, though. Crabs are more. Ron, nothing like that's gonna happen to us. Looking for something special? I'm looking to buy you out, actually. I'll buy you out. Stupid
Move up, leave. A shotgun. Hey! Yeah, I dare you bring your asses in here. I got something for you. Stick this one up too, unless I've done it already. You looking for something special? No. I'm just looking to rob the register. Just gone back. Thanks a heap. Ooh, good money. I get okay. Ooh, not bad. So far, I haven't been made. Okay, we're good. We're we got a homicide here. Uh -oh. Suspect is armed. Copy that. They blocked my car. Ugh! They can't even get in. Possible stolen vehicle. Please. Ten four. Suspect is about six feet tall. Average size. $100. Now fuck off. You can overlook this small problem, can't you? All right. Now get out of here before I change my mind.
why people back in the day boost hubcaps. I don't think they have much of a value. And tire, you know, the same way a car, or a stolen car, or tires do. All right, we're almost there. Drive through the gate and into the yard. Just follow me. Ni hao. Hey, we got some business with your boss. Greetings, Mr. Tomasino. Welcome, Henry. Hello, Mr. Wang. Let us get straight to business. Is your suitcase heavy enough? See for yourself. Hell, Da, this is a bank of 20 yuan Chinese currency, a total of 35,000 yuan. All right, take it away and bring the goods. You're a good man, Henry. Here is your merchandise. Each bag contains one kilo. Each kilo weighs a little more than two pounds. Which one do you want to test? Arm candy. Okay, we're good. I'm glad. Next time, we can give you twice the amount. It was a pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Wang. The pleasure was all mine. Knock it off. See how easy that was? <laughs> Let's get back in the car. All right, fellas, the hard part's over. Now we just gotta make the exchange and we're done. Sounds good to me. Where are we headed? Hunters. I got it all lined up. Hey, that's the black neighborhood. Probably Hello, Wait, gentlemen. Uh, Fucking sick. I think you have something for us. Drop the suitcases. Hmm. My shoes. I don't think they're standard. Issue. Wait a Those minute. These guys ain't Have cops. Somewhere, gators. Kill the bastard. Shoot, Vito. Vito, watch my back. Going in. Oh, no! Fucking dead. Here comes more of them. Hold on. I got him. Come on! Oh, oh shit! Can't go back that way! Run! Move your asses! Get out of there, Vito! Vito, watch our back!
he's mine. I'm the best. Bring it on, motherfucker. Fellas, the hot pot's over. Now we just gotta make the exchange and we're done. Sounds good to me. Where are we headed? Hunters. I got it all lined up. Look at a dead body right there. Hello, Jeff. Vito, watch our back. <laughs> back me up, Vito. Here comes more of them. Hold on. I got him. Bing. Nice. Ready up. Come on. Oh shit. Don't go back that way. Run. Move your asses. Vito, watch our back. These guys just don't talk to learn. I am right here, scumbag. All right, Vito, here we go. Help me out here. Fights the dust. Man, you're a terrible fucking shot. Fellas, the hot pot's over. Now we just gotta make the exchange and we're done. Sounds good to me. Where are we headed? Hunters. I got it all lined up. Vito, watch our back. Ah. Back me up, Vito. Yeah. Ah. Here comes more of them. Hold on. I got him. Bing. Nice. There's still too many of them. Come on. Stay away from these windows, fellas. Damn. No sense no, staying up down. here. Let's get Vito. Kick the door in. Kill that fuck! 
Something. Hurry up here. I got it. I won't want to get on your bad side. Is that the fucking best you got? Oh, you're in trouble. Bring it on, motherfucker! Come on, shoot the best! Up, Vito. Nice. Good Shoot that guy. You shoot like my sister. Yeah, all right, all right, let's go, let's go. You teach you that in the army? All right, go, go, go. Let's go, tap, tap.
What the fuck are you doing? What are you worried about? That was fucking close. It's not over yet. Uh -oh. They're coming after us. Fuck! Lose it! Uh oh! Vito. Caucasian male carrying a large firearm. Roger that. What the fuck was that, Henry? No idea. Somebody else must have known about the deal. Those definitely weren't your cops. Maybe it was the chinks trying to fuck us. <clears throat> I doubt it. Look, I'll figure it out. But first, we gotta unload this stuff. Vito, take us to the old warehouse in Hunters. All right. Hope this deal goes better than the last one. It will. Not like it can go any worse, right? So who are we selling the stuff to? Uh, a bunch of different guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What do you mean a bunch of different guys? A bunch of different guys. What did all that shooting back there make you deaf? I thought you said <laughs> we were just moving this garbage from one place to another. Yeah, well, you make a lot more money if you sell it in smaller amounts. Would have been really nice to know before I agreed to go in on this. If I did, from the way you were talking back in the park, you probably wouldn't have. Yeah, exactly. Hey. The best you can hope for right now is to spend the next 30 years of your life breaking your ass for Eddie and Carla before you either get bumped off or end up back in the can. The only time you're ever going to see cash like this is if you stick your neck out. Besides, I you stick your neck out. But still you wrong. Well, there was the OPA job. And that time we almost got killed when we wiped that fat fucking sand island. All right, all right, enough. None of that matters after today. Let's just get the hunters. And don't worry, we're never gonna have to see these scumbags again after today. Unless this turns into a regular thing for us. Well, all right, let's just concentrate on getting through this one before we go making plans like that, all right? Hey, I'm just saying. Vito's right. Let's just get through the rest of the day. After that, smooth sailing, fellas. Hey, you just went through a red light. Hey, you just went through a red light. No fucking shit.
every cop in the fucking city to come after us? Hey, I know how to drive, all right? than abroad. Here we are. Let me do the talking. These are tough guys, so no wise-ass comments. All right, Joe? What it is, bro? Hey, Look guys, how you doing? Town. Hey, man. Come on in. <coughs> Shit! I smoke! Oh, fuck. <coughs> Again, music would be playing. We did it! We hit the jackpot! Hey, 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 take it easy. We're not done yet. Lighten up, will you, Henry? What's the matter? All of a sudden, money don't make you happy? After we pay back Bruno and you get your cut, then you could be happy. All right, all right. Just pretend they're giving away sub sandwiches, but those are actually, of course, smacky wacky. So, this is a montage sequence. Chapter 13, Exit the Dragon, Joe's Apartment, September 24th, 1951. You ain't even gonna give me a tip? You want a tip? I'll give you a tip. Don't let the door hit you in the ass on the way out. Always the gentleman, huh, Joey? <laughs> Just get the fuck out of here hey, already. Hey, Gina, wanna come join me? 
Hey, I hope there's room for three in there. Barbaro's Bordello. You got the money, we got the honeys. Vito, it's Henry. We got a problem. What kind of problem? Eddie paid me a visit. Carlo knows about the deal. And he sent Eddie to pick up his cut. Uh, how much? Sixty grand. Fuck, that much? What are we gonna do? I don't know. We don't even have enough left for Bruno. Meet me in the park. I don't want to talk about this over the phone. Okay. I'll be right there. Joe, we gotta go. What? What for? Now, Joe. I'll tell you on the way. Ladies, let yourselves out. Don't steal anything. I'm watching you. I'm watching you. All right. Girls, lock up when you leave. Me and Vito got business. So what the hell's going on? That was Henry on the phone. Carlo found out about the deal. Ah, shit! Does he know he was involved? I don't think so. Let's talk about it in the car. And he wants his cut about 60 grand. And we don't have enough to pay Bruno more than to Henry. Let's get it cut. Smoking white soup. And look at the clock, it's pretty good. Where we headed? Lincoln Park. We meeting Henry there? Yeah. All right, so what did Henry say on the phone? He okay? Sounded okay. But Carlo took his car to the take. Fuck. Just like Henry said he'd do if he found out. Yeah, but now the problem is, we don't even got enough to pay Bruno back. Ah, shit. What the hell are we gonna do? I don't know. Figure it out when we get to the park. Yeah. Henry don't know what to do. When it comes to his cut.
McCluskey and Sons only offers the very best, be it guns or ammo. What else can I get you, sir? I loaded these myself in the back. Yeah, by the way, I'm here to rob you. I got you. Sorry I had to do that, but it is what it is. Give me that damn money. Give me that shotgun, too. We got a homicide here. Suspect is armed. 10-4. Nice. Y'all dead. Back me up, Joe. Here come the cops. Tell me what you need, sir. We can paint it any color you like. Take your pick. New set of wheels. Take your pick, pal. Right. Thanks, Vito. Appreciate the business. Now it's all souped up. Can't wait to see what the stats are. Hello, sir. Can I fill her up for you? Full tank, please. Sure thing, pal. Sorry about the prices. The gas keeps going up. 
It's tough times all around, you know? Is that everything, sir? Thank you. Take care, sir. Hey, let's go get a car wash, too. Let's throw that in. Throw it in. A 372. Get over to Henry. Lincoln Park. Where is that? Okay, right there. Henry's different these days. The guy's got a real... What the, what the fuck? fuck's going on? Shit, that's Henry! What the fuck are they hitting him with? Get off me! What the fuck? Cleavers. Cleaver him to death. So it's some Kuya Batong! You ain't so tough. Ah. Oh, another one bites the dust. Fuck! Man, they really fucked fuck them does up. Does something like this, Vito? Them people are fucking sick. Shit! Who the fuck does something like this? Who do you think? God damn it, Henry! Damn it, Henry! Look at this, Vito. You fucking believe this? Yeah, the money's gone too. Joe, come on. We gotta get out of here. The cops will take care of Henry. Hey, that's the old guy who sold us the dope, Wong. Of all the ways to kill a guy. Goddamn bullet not good enough. These bastards are sick in the head, Vito. They're gonna fucking die. All of them. I mean, why do it like that? In the middle of the park. Like I said, they're sick. I'm gonna turn them into chop fucking soon. Hey, not for nothing. We don't even know how many of them there are. Yeah. 
And it don't matter. Henry's dead. What, do you want us to get killed too? We gotta do this smart job. It don't matter how we do it. As long as they're fucking dead, we're done. Listen, there's probably more to it. So what? The more the fucking merry. So there's only two of us. Unless maybe you want to call Carl and tell him all about the mess we're in and ask him to send some guys over here. All right, fine. I get it. All right, so promise me you're not going to go in guns blazing as usual. We got to do this the smart way. All right? Best I can. All right, just don't lose them. Fuck, damn it, Vito, we fucking lost them. Oi, my tongue. Back me up, Vito. They teach you that in the army. What? Oh, 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 Fuck! All the ways to kill a guy. Goddamn bullet would have been enough. These bastards are sick in the head, Vito. They're gonna fucking die. All of them. I mean, why do it like that? Supper. In the middle of the park. Like I said, they're sick. I'm gonna turn them into chop fucking suey. Hey, not for nothing. We don't even know how many of them there are. Yeah, and it don't matter. Hey, Henry's dead. What, do you want us to get killed too? We gotta do this smart, Joe. It don't matter how we do it. As long as they're fucking dead when we're done. All right, listen. There's probably more than two of them. So what? The more the fucking merrier. So there's only two of us. Unless maybe you want to call Carlo and tell him all about the mess we're in and ask him to send some guys over here. All right, fine. I get it. All right, so promise me you're not going to go in guns blazing as usual. You got to do this the smart way. All right? Probably the early triads. Come on, 
Now we know where to find him. Let's get in there and take him out before he disappears with the money. Hold on, I'm gonna need some serious firepower first. We can either go to Harry's or we can kill these fucks right now. Just say the word. Is your fucking membership fee. God damn it, Joe. Can't you listen to me for once? No, I can't. You've seen what they done to Henry. God damn it, Joe. See? Why didn't you just bang the damn gun while you were at it? Right down! Don't oh, wait for these little fucks. They took Get the ass out behind the bar! Waste them all! Come on, you stupid dog! Come on, Come on, Vito! Waste them all! Watch out! They're shooting from up top! Vito, let's move up! Come on, you little bastards! Get the guy on the stairs! Up there, in the window! Right here. Come on. 
Two more to go, and that's it. Come on, you little fucks! Tell your boss I'm coming for him. Say good night, Charlie Chan. Oh, boy. Let's move up. Let me clear that area. Yeah, I'll take that. Watch out, here comes Morrido! So I'm Kuya Batong! Kuya no! Boy, that way! I'd wake up in! I'm hungry! You ain't so tough! All right, you go first, Vito. You're a smaller target. Thanks. Hey, you should get a little right? They don't say home up. What the hell is that prick? It's gotta be nice something. Let's keep going. You think I don't see your sneaky ass?
Get out of there! Don't matter! I got plenty of bullets left. Get your drunk ass out of here before I shoot you. Shh! Be quiet, Vito. Since when are you concerned about making noise? There's too many of them. Just take them out nice and quiet. Oh, that's gonna be mighty hard. But I gotta use this stuff. Just sneak through here.
was the last of them. See? Ain't so bad so far, right? Ooh, yeah, but what if somebody mess. recognizes us and Carlo hears about it? That's why we ain't leaving no witnesses. There's pro what the hell are you doing? Get in the elevator. Strambling for him. You're dead, you slanty-eyed fuck! What oh, is it that you want? What the fuck do you think we want? We want to know why you had our friend killed. We also want the money you took from him. I had no choice. Your friend was a government informer. What the what? fuck are you talking about? A contact inside the Federal Bureau of Narcotics told me that Henry Tomasino passed them information about our deal. That's a fucking lie! Whoa, whoa, whoa. You saying Henry was a rat? Yes. But not anymore. That's bullshit. Makes no sense. And I suppose you had nothing to do with the little stick-up after we closed the deal with you either, right? You think we would take such a stupid risk and destroy our own factory? That was just another reason to get rid of you. We had problems with you from the very beginning. Yeah. Well, all your problems are just about over, pal. So where's our money? It's not here anymore. What? Where the hell is it, then? I cannot tell you. If you don't tell us, I'm gonna splatter your yellow brains all over this fucking room. If I told you, I'd be dead anyway. Fine. Your choice. Are you crazy? What you wanna do, let him go or something? We could've gotten more out of him. Fuck that, he wouldn't have said nothing. These bastards are tough. <sighs> Let's just get the hell out of here before the cops come. Ooh, what a mess. Get the hell out of Chinatown. Hey man, I'm gonna run your pockets. You won't need where you're going. Come on, Vito, get in the elevator. What a shit show. Looks like this place won't be opening up for a while. If we had the time, I'd burn it to the damn ground. Vito, come here. This should be the way out. Where you going, Vito? That's the way we came in. Ah, fuck this! Come on, Vito, let's get out of here! There's too many of them! Find us a car, quick! This guy's a maniac! We gotta take him down! Uh-oh. Copy that. All right, we lost them.
Take me to my place, Vito. I need a fucking drink. That was, uh... was fucked up, huh? Yeah. I don't want to talk about it. Just get me back to my place, would you? All right. What's up your ass today? Hey, I'm walking here! Man, a prick deserved it. <laughs> Came out of nowhere. This deal was a total fucking disaster. Tell me about it. Henry's dead. We don't have Bruno's money. We killed half the Tongs. And if they think Carlo sent us, it'll mean war. Psh, we're fucked. Yeah. And if Carlo finds out we got him into this mess... What if Henry really was a rat? No fucking way. Don't even say that. Look, first let's get the money for Bruno. That'll fix at least one problem. But I'm done for today. I need a drink. Call you in the morning, we'll figure this shit out. All right. Okay, I'll see you later. And Vito, be careful. Chapter 14, Stairway to Heaven. Oyster Bay, September 25th, 1951. Sound like I'm ready, you just woke me up. So get the fuck up. We don't get the money for Bruno today. We're fucked. Where the hell are we gonna get our hands on 55 grand, huh? I don't know. We sure as hell ain't gonna find it laying around in bed. I got something for starters. A job from Eddie with a big payout. No shit? Yeah, I'll pick you up in a few minutes. So get dressed, grab a gun, and wait for me outside. I'll tell you more in the car. This better not be one of your brilliant ideas, Joe. Hey, I'm not in the mood. Sorry, sorry. I didn't mean to snap at you. I'm still half asleep over here. Yeah, yeah, whatever. So you in or not? Sure, why not? How long till you get here? I'm calling from the gun shop around the corner. I'll be at your place in a minute. All right, I'll wait for you out back. I'll see you soon. What's with the fancy wheels? Eddie gave it to us just for this job. Nice, eh? You drive. My head's still pounding from last night. We're going to Greenfield. Guess you hit the sauce pretty hard, too, huh? Yeah, I couldn't sleep either. Nothing a bottle of scotch couldn't fix, though. Head over to Greenfield. So now can you tell me what this is all about? We're just gonna drive there, pop some guy, and drive away. Should be a piece of cake. 
Why? Eddie said it's a favor for some family from another city. Unfinished business. He gave me this envelope with all the instructions. He said it's got to be clean and that it's got to be done today. Why the hell doesn't the other family just do it themselves? Eddie said they've been looking for this guy for a while and they just found him. They're afraid that if it ain't done right away, the guy's gonna disappear again. Here, here's a picture of him. What'd this guy do? Says here he ratted his family out to the feds. The guy's got to come to him now. But wait a minute. If he cooperated with the feds, that means he was under protection, right? What if he still is? Even if he is, we're getting paid a few grand for the job. So it's more than worth the risk. Uh, if you say so. Hey, we need every penny we can get right now, right? So, after we finish this job, we'll split up and look for other work. All right. Says here they want us to give him a message before we do it. Here, here it is. Okay, got it. Hey, if you see Eddie later, not a word about yesterday. We was never there. Last chink we saw was delivering egg food young. You get it? <laughs> yeah, what do you think I am? Some kind of retard? Jury's still out on that one, pal. Just uh. making sure you don't slip up, that's all. What do you got, an aversion to red lights? What do you got, an aversion to shutting the fuck up? cinematic view. Good. Full tank, please. Sure thing, pal. <clears throat> Just so you know, you can run out of gas. All oh, right. Almost done there, boss. Be back on the road. Is that everything, sir? Thank you. Always a pleasure, sir.
Remember what you gotta say? Yeah. All right, here we go then. Are you trying to hit every fucking car? Hey, I know how to drive, all right? Mr. Angelo? Uh, Tommy Angelo. Yes? From Mr. Mafia. Salieri sends his regards. Snitches get stitches. That's your retirement. Like I said, it's about six feet tall, dark so hair, medium build. Those guys over there. Shit! Go! Copy go. That. We got a homicide here. Suspect is off. This is Agent Cox. We need to support the Greenfield. Now, goddammit! Those were feds. That asshole really was under protection. And he's famous for conveniently leaving out little details like that. Maybe he didn't know. No matter now. We gotta lose him. That was close. Get me to Kingston, will you? I got a car waiting there. And what about the money? Hey, I almost forgot. Eddie paid me in advance, so here's your share. Wee, sweet. Oh, hey there, Vito. Need something for your car? Hey, Vito, just tell me what you need. A license plate. <laughs> for you, no problem. You can paint it any color you like. Take your pick. All finished. She's a work of art. For a new set of wheels? Take your pick, pal. Thanks, Fido. Appreciate the business.
Every weapon is absolutely legal. I guarantee. Not that give a shit. <laughs> Gun ain't much without some ammo. Boy, turn tail now. I agree. Hold that. We got a homicide here. Suspect is armed. Take that piglet. Copy that. Officer down! Officer down! Shoot this asshole! Roger that. The Mauser. than abroad. Good to see you this afternoon. In the market for something special? I have just the thing. Will that be all, sir? It was a pleasure to serve you, sir.
diversion to red lights? It's me, Vito. It's me, Vito. Come on in. So, you need serious hardware or just a pistol? Like my mom always said, you can never have too much ammo. Like my mom always said, you can never have too much ammo. Like my mom always said, you can never have too much ammo. Here you go, Vito. Like my mom always said, you can never have too much ammo. I never leave home without it. Like my mom always said, you can never have too much ammo. Too bad you can't shoot him. Don't go getting yourself killed now. That's every day, man. Good luck getting your hair for the money. Come by my place when you're done. Okay. I'll see you later. Cost you, sir. Yeah, now we're done. All right, I don't want to see your face again.
You know, I'm gonna have to give you a fine for this. Double fine. Here, now we're done. Do yourself a favor, pal, and straighten up. see your face again. Every weapon is absolutely legal. I guarantee. Yeah, well, what I'm about to do isn't. <laughs> Leave. Thank you. I'll take that to go. <laughs> Oh! 
Hey, thanks for coming by. I knew I could count on you. What for? Frank's organizing a sit-down with the other bosses, and he took almost all my guys as bodyguards. So I don't have nobody around to handle this here job for me. Derek, these guys still don't want to work. What? Why? Because of that deadbeat you fired. Hey. Shit. Well, Vito, that other thing will have to wait. Can you help us out here with this first? What's happening? Well, this deadbeat didn't come to work for a whole week. Pretended he was sick. Total bullshit. So I fired his ass. Anyway, some of his buddies are upset and they're threatening to strike. All I gotta do is show up with a few guys who look like they mean business. That'll scare them and they'll forget all about it. I give you a thousand bucks. Are you in? All right. I ain't gonna say no to that kind of money. All right. All you need to do is stand behind me and look tough. Right, Steve? We'll see. These fucking guys really think who the fuck they are. This ain't the first time I have problems with them, you know. Uh, know how many of them there is? Three, four, ten. How the fuck should I know? Does it matter? Oh, no, it's just, uh, what are we gonna do to them? All depends on how the, uh, labor negotiations go. Just let me do all the talking. I don't need just opening your mouths and proving how stunages are. So, what's the problem here, so, what's the problem? fellas? We want you to give Big John his job back. It's me that decides who gets hired and fired around here, and I say he's fired. All we're asking is for you to hire him back. He's got a family. He needs a job. I've made my decision. See, I told you! Easy does it, Vinny. We want to do this Easy. peacefully. We bust our asses day in and day out for this fat fuck! And if anything ever happens to us, he'll screw us over Lower just like your he voice did John. Now, young man. I don't want to hear another word about that fucking dead. Who are you calling a deadbeat? A crate fell on the poor guy while he was working. For you. Broke both his damn hands. Well, that's his fucking problem, not mine. And I suggest you just get back to work before somebody else's hands get you broke. You goddamn bastard! You fellas are really starting to piss me off. There's no need for violence. Please, put it down. We don't want no trouble. It don't look that way to me. Right now, looks like you got big trouble, don't you? Now, if you all don't want to start looking for new jobs, you'll be back to work in the next ten minutes. You see, Vito, all they do is bitch and moan. Vito? You're Scaletta's boy, ain't you? I, your dad used to talk about you all the time. You look just like him. But what are you doing working for this bastard? After what he did to your old Shut man? Shut your fucking mouth right now. Don't listen to him, Vito. He's full of shit. Come on, let's go. Full of shit, huh? That bastard killed your father, Vito. What? They're just trying to get under your skin, Derek. Hey, stop pointing that gun Why at don't me. Don't you ask him how your dad drowned Trap. that night? We seen him take a walk with Steve. And then Steve come back alone. And all wet. Stop pointing that thing at me. What the hell happened with my father, Derek? Are you nuts or what? Who are you gonna trust, me or these now unemployed losers? We known each other for a long time, Vito. Think of all Why the were things. Were you all wet, Steve? You dive in and try to save him because he wouldn't stay underwater. Keep your mouth shut, Vito. Whoa. You swore an oath. I was father. there. Our loyalty to the family is greater than to our own families. Tell that to my mother. <sighs> Should I kill him? No, not here. We'll settle things with him later. You disappoint me, Vito. You really do. I'm gonna do a hell of a lot more than disappoint you, Derek. Your dad. Not right now. I gotta get that fuck before he runs away. Time to teach that fat fuck a lesson. Vinny, where'd you get that? Doesn't matter. Okay, the odds are even. Now let's teach that fat fuck a lesson. All right, follow me, guys. This is crazy, fellas. We shouldn't be doing this. Vito can handle himself. Some extra firepower ain't gonna hurt. Let's go, Vito. We got your back.
stop just like your old man. <laughs> What do you think of Vito? You think you could just fucking do something like this and walk away? Something like this and walk away. You're fucked. <laughs> You 
miss your old man, Vito? Don't worry. You're gonna see him soon. Think of Vito. You think you could just fucking do something like this and walk away? You fuck! Vito, you're making the biggest mistake of your life. When we're done with you, I'm gonna beat you to the rats! Yes, motherfucker. We could still work this out, Vito. You know what's gonna happen to you when people find out about this? When you get done with you, I'm gonna feed you to the rats. Vito, you're making the biggest mistake of your life. Your old man, Vito. Don't worry. Oh, fuck, you're gonna see him soon. Shit. Okay, the odds are even. Now let's teach that fat fuck a lesson. All right. Follow me, guys. This is crazy, fellas. We shouldn't be doing this. Some extra fire. Vito can handle himself. Let's go, Vito. We got your back.
Okay, the odds are even. Now let's teach that fat fuck a lesson. All right, follow me, guys.
You're making the biggest mistake in your life. Vito, you think you could just fucking do something like this and walk away? Yeah, fuck! Vito, you're making the biggest mistake in your life! You know what's gonna happen to you when people find out about this? No, but you can sure tell me. Like father, like son, I beat all. You're gonna die here, Vito! Just like your father! <laughs> Vito, you're making the biggest mistake in your life! You know what's gonna happen to you when people find out about this? We could still work this out, Vito! You think you could just fucking do something like this and walk away? Yeah, fuck! Like father, like son, I eh, veto. You miss your old man, Vito? Don't worry, you're gonna see him soon. Vito, you're making the biggest mistake of your life. <laughs> what do you think of Vito? You think you could just fucking do something like this and walk away? You fuck! Like father and son, I beat all. Vito, you're making the biggest mistake in your life. You know what's gonna happen to you when people find out about this? We could still work this out, Vito. You're gonna die here, Vito! Just like your father. Done with you. I'm gonna feed you to the rats. What do you think of Vito? You 
think you could just fucking do something like this? You want to win? I spent my whole life trying not to make the same mistakes my old man did. Then I find out I'm following in his footsteps. It was good to finally know the truth, though. And Derek's death also helped me resolve another problem. Like I just found Derek's retirement funds. Extend the stream by two hours. Let's see where I can get with this thing. Then I had to get gas though so, on the way. I'm gonna drive all the way to Brewski's.
in pursuit of a hit and run driver. Copy that. You're gonna kill somebody you keep driving that way. I'm gonna find you. All right, here you go. Do yourself a favor, pal, and straighten up.
14 minutes of another portion of this screen. Joe wasn't home. At first I thought he was just running a little late, so I went to grab something to eat. Two hours later, Joe still wasn't home. It was getting dark, and I was getting worried. I had to go look for him. Six hours later. Maybe Joe checked in with Eddie at the Falcon.
Vito! Good, you're here. You, uh, you hear what happened? Wow, what's going on? Henry's dead. What? The fucking chinks hacked him to death in broad daylight. W why So you don't know anything about it. Well, Henry wanted to bring me in on some deal, but I passed. What happened? Yeah, well, Henry is, well, was stupid. He was dealing dub with the tongs. He knew this was off limits and he got caught. Carlo let him off with a small fine and told him he'd forget about it. But the chinks double-crossed Henry and hacked him to pieces in the middle of the park. Shit. Ain't no doing business with the yellow man. But there's worse. Henry wasn't working alone. Yesterday, some guys massacred a shitload of the chinks over in Chinatown. Now they figure it must have either been us or Vinci. They already started threatening Vinci. If this don't get settled fast, we're all in deep shit. You sure you don't know nothing about it? Not a thing, Eddie, I swear. Yeah? How about Joe? Joe? Joe was with me last couple days. Well, you're lucky then. Carlo's out of town right now, but when he gets back, <laughs> it ain't gonna be pretty. Oh, shit. You better not be shitting me, Vito. Let's try Giuseppe next. He keeps his editing around. Just I thought I'd give you guys a heads up. This is the end of this portion of the stream. This is part one and it's going to be part two. The conclusion of Mafia 2 Classic Edition. Right here on the 9 to 5 Outlaw Does Gaming YouTube and Twitch channel. Which I'm going to continue on straight away. Don't go away. This is the 9 to 5 Outlaw Does Gaming YouTube and Twitch channel. And this is going to be for part two of Mafia 2 Classic Edition. Stick around.